All right, so I've done a good job of making sure that people don't <laughs> that people don't care what I do over the past few years to the point where a title like this is more than likely not going to be able to get people to play this video still. And I really don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be. With that being said, this is a video that will explain a lot of important things with this channel moving forward and a lot of important things about my future. You know, the funny part about this is that I recorded this video over three months ago, or at least I had recorded a different version of this video over three months ago, and I'm doing it again here in March 2021 after I quit my job and the month before I moved back to my home area because this area is bumming me out. It's crazy too because I spent my entirety of high school here and I started making videos for this channel as soon as I moved out here. Now I'm basically two years removed from being enrolled in high school and three years removed from taking a high school class or course or anything high school related. I started this channel because I used to imagine myself as a YouTuber when I was in 7th grade going through a lot of terrible things at the time and watching videos from Mr. Hurricane, Onto the Boss, Moonlight Swami, and Straight Outta Boston was my escape from those terrible things. Once I got an opportunity to record my own gameplay rather than just watching the gameplay of others, I decided to give it a try. As such, the legend of Mr. A. Miles, the unoriginal 14-year-old and his Mr. Hurricane, Moonlight Swami, and Straight Outta Boston ripoffs began and went on for a year with some very poorly recorded and thought out NBA videos mixed in. Later on, I decided that I should rip off a new set of channels, which were Arios and Jersey Born, and that went on for quite some time while I also did whatever sports related videos I could think of because I thought I was incredibly edgy at the time. <laughs> Even though it was mostly also ripoffs of like Mike Korzemba and. <laughs> but either way, that leads us to the rut. The most notable one, anyway. I've been in limbo with this channel for quite some time. The limbo started right around the time when I decided that I needed a break from doing this sort of thing again, but this time for the purpose of deeper evaluation and exiting a rut that I was in at the time. And I exited that rut while I was back in the Bay Area in late 2017 and early 2018, and was ready to make videos again when I got back here until I came home to a flooded house and the rut started again. After that, I've pretty much been in limbo with this channel ever since, with the whole not uploading very often thing, not uploading altogether thing, uploading compilations every once in a while and accidentally stumbling upon hundreds of thousands of views thing, and uh, that's where I'm at right now, because I thought it would lead to an end goal that I could be proud of. This whole having a handful of videos uploaded in the past couple of years thing is because I haven't made content that I can be proud of as much as I've wanted to. There have only been like two to five videos that I've created off the top of my head out of the hundreds of uploads I have on this channel and on my other channels that I was proud of going into the time that I was going to upload them. And that was the reason why I lost encouragement to keep uploading videos at the most random times and why I've been in limbo with YouTube and content creation for a while since there isn't really a percentage of videos that I've created that I can say that I'm proud of creating. Now, is there anything wrong with that? No. Is there anything wrong with that when you castrate so many opportunities that could have given you a head start on a career like most of your high school peers have right now? You bet. The problem with just walking out on this whole thing completely is that I castrated an opportunity to play basketball or baseball at a competitive level, maybe even go pro if I really dedicated time. I castrated an opportunity to be a key contributor to a drama club. I castrated an opportunity to get a better head start on becoming a statistician or engineering slash architectural manager. I castrated opportunities to get closer with people because my mind is always so distracted. And all of this because of videography and this channel. And in general, I put too much time into trying to become a better content creator to just walk away from this, even when I was just straight ripping people off. Over the past couple of years, I've been trying to figure out what would make me proud of what I do. And 
I'm still unsure of what it is entirely, but as with Albert Einstein, working some, for lack of a better word, menial jobs ended up getting my mind into its proper thinking state, and I figured out a better direction for myself. And here's the thing. I've always loved sports. I love baseball, I love hockey, I love basketball, I love football, I enjoy the competition because I'm a competitive, ambitious person, and it's a great source of entertainment, even if my actions and reactions don't always dictate such sentiments. With that being said, sports are not the only source of love for me, dear God. <laughs> Over the past couple of years, at least to me it's felt like a couple of years, I've been getting back in touch with music and movies because I didn't realize how much of a big part those things play in my life as well. As such, I've decided to mesh all three of these things with my grandiose thinking and turn it into something that gives me a chance to be proud of what I do more consistently. Which is why I started a website that I hope can grow into something much greater than an extension of the JW Off Script brand, which is also going to be something new that I intend to focus on for myself. The reveal of the new branding and focal points for each of my channels, Anima, Cinema, Sword in the Cord, and JWS10 will come at some point this year that I'll tease when I decide to reveal such things. But in the meantime, my website is open and I'm going by Jack West. Jack West is the only person capable of creating these videos and coming in front of the camera. Jack West is a guy that'll make all my experiences worthwhile. Now, when it comes to this channel, I have some changes that I want to bring forth whenever I'm ready to. If you're new around here because of my NHL videos or any of my compilations or any of my recent videos, most recent anyway, that isn't content that I want to be my focal point anymore because I uploaded the first one for myself more than anyone else and just decided to go with the flow with the other comps and managed to gain a little bit more traction. I still have some compilations that I might release because one was requested and the other is one that I have all the clips and pics and graphics for, but I'm unsure if I want to release them because compilations circumvent ways for me to become a better content creator, and also those videos attract copyright like no one's business. So quick disclaimer, I actually decided that I do want to continue to do compilations. They aren't videos that I want to rely on, is sort of the premise that I wanted to bring forth. I'm not sure how frequent I will be uploading compilations of the big four leagues. I'll sort of get to details on that when I do my rebrand update, which will be a while from now, but I still want to do compilations. I have lots of ideas that I want to try out, but I'm unsure of when I'll be uploading on this channel again. I definitely do want to upload on this channel again at some point, but I want my focal points to be my music channel and film channel when I get back to uploading videos as a whole, or at least uploading more consistently. With this channel, I was doing franchise videos for a while, that was my focal point, because I really enjoy team building. In fact, I have a passion for team building when it comes to sports other than, you know, playing. But franchises on Madden and NHL and MLB The Show and 2K are ones I've lost interest in, and the games in general are ones I've lost interest in playing as a whole. I play other games on my PS4 way more than I do Madden or NHL or any other sports games. I've had much more fun playing simulated franchises on FHM and OOTP because they bring out the enjoyment of team building better than the other aforementioned games. And I mean, that's basically it. Only problem is that I want to do play-by-play -play announcing again. You see a lot of that now with people doing play-by-play -play as they watch games live. But I want to do that over video games, since that decreases copyright possibilities, and I think it's just a more enjoyable experience for all parties. As such, I think I just want to buy old games from, um, from like, or for NHL or for the NFL, MLB, and the NBA, and just uh, download updated rosters so that I can play a season mode with a team or something, or maybe, like, I'll do key matchups in like the regular season. I, I don't know, I kind of want to do a season mode for a team and just like make some acquisitions to try and guide that team to a championship that year or something. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to buy old games though, dedicated to each league, each of the big four. And I want to do play-by-play -play announcing again, considering how I'm more aware of the process behind it, and it's something intriguing to me. 
but I'm really unsure about what to do with that. Which is why I'm doing a series that I'm unsure will ever be uploaded on YouTube. Maybe it'll be like unlisted somewhere, but I'm doing a series just to up my production value and to uh, get my play-by-play uh, -play spirit back going. This all comes with consideration that I have a much better grasp on what's compelling and what isn't. Bottom line, if you subscribe to this channel within the past two years or so, I'm sorry, but this channel more than likely won't be what you were probably expecting it to be, so you can unsubscribe if you want. Seriously, go right ahead. Also, if I've offended you by not uploading that much over the past few years, and will offend you even more for not having a concrete time of when I'll upload on this channel again, you can unsubscribe as well. If you want to stick these things out with me and uh, <laughs> see what is next in store for the um, <laughs> six channel name change, I think it is at this point, then that sounds awesome. Otherwise, even though it may not seem like it entirely, this video officially marks a turning point in my life and potentially my career, given that this is a declaration of a change. And um, even if it's not all dedicated to this channel, it's a change for my life. This is just, <laughs> this is just a reminder for me that I'm making a change and that I have direction, at least better direction than I've had in years. Literal years. It's been a long time. Either way, that basically covers about everything that I was willing to cover in video form. So I'll see you on an undisclosed date. Jay West out.